Hey guys, Amy here, and welcome back to Friends in 2. Last we left off, we are about to get into Corpses, Please. The, <coughs> the final part of chat, the first of two activities in chapter 11. So let's just get right into it, shall we? Any time today. Uh, so inspect the corpse, and hasty autopsy, time to get to the bottom of this. Uh, looks a sign of disease, so we have to do, uh, sound of bl blood, but uh, hold the pen to carefully, um, pen move, and let's see, don't notice the reaction, okay, hand gun, the lighter, and personal photo and I don't think there's anything what are you doing wait what does this have anything to do what was it does this has it has anything to do with the body you just got rid of or perhaps there's something to this sound much of unnaturally cold air or maybe a strange flowing fog that's surrounding you in Lovecraft are you done awesome so Clack. Basically, you have to do your best to try and guess if it's a possessed, the, uh, yeah, uh, undead, or <coughs> the, or just anything of the sort, or good to think, good to think, so you don't feel anything unusual. So basically, if you just have to guess, undead, ghost, or oh, didn't read what it said. Um, so let's see here, Pomos, Gum, Kager's, Novel, Wallet. Watch your body slip into the second tube, you wonder what it is and they actually do with them. Good job, you're doing amazing! Now let's hurry this shit up! Now you actually do get a secret achievement if you do happen to do this without getting the assistance of, using the assistance of your allies, along with that, <laughs> From when I when I did my first playthrough of this, there seemed to be four different types: one normal, one undead, one possessed by a spirit, and one vampire. So, that would clock's be ticking. Time skaters, hurry the fuck up. So, assuming if everything is still the same, that this will be different. You have no marks, which is good. Uh, a little groaning. So. And if I remember correctly. Oh, has a cargo. Are you done? Awesome. Which is. Look. So let's see. Small doll. Knife. Nothing else that they need to use to pull out several organs, but pick up the sew sewing kit as well, because that could be dangerous. Let's see here. Pendant moves. I'm going to... What are you doing? Yeah, okay. The haunted one is the most are difficult. You, uh, look. The haunted one is the most difficult one to actually ascertain if it is not moving at all. Trying to bite it. Let's see if I I'm going to, okay, so lighter, uh, port of a battery, and knife, burn it. The body is quickly moved into the incinerator where it's consumed with a quick whoosh of flame. Finally, my ass was starting to cramp up. In process. Clock's ticking, time skaters. Hurry the fuck up. So, pendants. Pendants. 
not moving. Later, later. Nothing else that screams. Don't notice reaction. To your second class. Watch it. <laughs> I wasn't being it. So that is a miss save now since we got two things done. Alright. <laughs> no marks. Okay, so palm husk. We, let's see, take out the lighter and the grub chips. Just cause listen to the thing. And I'm gonna say this is possessed by spirit. Wait, why didn't that one go into recycling? It's okay, you do better next. Poor time. bastard. Next! Wait a minute, this one has a heartbeat? Oh no, that's not good. Before you can even react, the term gestures over and hits the button long to Evo holding the body. The table drops quickly and a heavy door slams the place over and you can hear the distinct hiss of the pressure dropping to zero. Today is flushed the body out into space. I saved your life is what I did. That was a rainbow drinker. Wait, what? Sometimes the jade boards will reanimate. It's often an unpleasant experience for them. They become violent. No time to bother with the incinerator. Best to just dump them into the void. Yikes. As long as I'm not the one justifying it to Central. I'm off the clock. See you when I see you. Well, that's everything. Time to go eat. So they're not going to actually unpack any of what just happened? Not at all. Back in the ship's cafeteria, you can see da Damon sitting at one of the tables, waiting for the four trays full of food. Hey, get over here! I wasn't sure what you are, <laughs> you know, biologically capable of eating, so I got you a little bit of everything. Well enough, you never really had a problem with most of, uh, most of our Turnian food. Despite the names of the most of the dishes, it isn't significantly worse than running to your average Chaka Bell. The slime is actually pretty okay once you get used to it. Well, there's plenty of slime to go around. Empire doesn't starve us, at least. So... I was wondering before, what are you even doing here? You had so many va variants of the specific question over the last few cycles, that's begun to lose all meaning. This time, you re reject a the question a little, a little. Does he really not remember you? Demon stabs a, pe a piece of food in front of in front of him and reminds you, you know, oblong meat product. You bonded over those. <coughs> Damien turns and fixes you with an expression that looks to be halfway between contempt and pity. I'd rather not talk about it right now if it's all the same to you. <laughs> Where'd it go? Yeah, I get it. You know, better just say something more about that to push the issue more and more to see what the limits of your friendship really are, but you wisely decide not to do that. If anything, Damien is more of a casual acquaintance, not the kind of person you are close enough to start unpacking deep-seated trauma. Good. There's a lot, and I don't want to talk about it if it's all the same to you. Right, so you found out about his medical condition. You- WHAT?! Okay, Damien looks angry, angry, but not at you specifically. He's glancing back and forth between chair and Fozer. Which one of you bulge-sniffing fucks told them?! Not I. I didn't even know. Wait, Fozer, you knew about this? I do not recall when nor how I came upon the information. I fucking told you! I was merely trying for a diplomatic approach. No, you actually saw a note about it in his repertoire. You said you weren't in this one specific instance trying to pry. Damien doesn't even necessarily look happy about this explanation, but he eventually sits back down. It's fine, I guess. Wait, why did you tell Fazer but not me? Why would I? From where I'm sitting, from how I'm treated, you might as well be a high blood. You can see Charm start to say something, but they stop and bow their head quietly. You'll be fine. Give me a half sweep to get out of your way and you can be in charge of another rust blood. Now it's probably 
good time to point out that there is another option here, like alternative to the backbreaking and ultimately terminal toilet that they're being forced to engage in. Yeah, good luck with that. No, you're serious. Got a way to get out. So about the whole locked timeline thing you were talking about earlier, the short version is that there's a much better world out there. A fitting metaphor for the world we create through our collective action. No, like, this is a real, actual other world. Precisely. Which we actualize through the efforts of the working class. It's another dimension. Right. A dimension- Wait, what the fuck? You were being literal? Yes. You're still working on all the details right now, but you feel like almost- You feel like things are almost there. For some reason. Reality feels thinner around here. It's hard to explain, but you feel like you're closer than ever- to trip figuring out how to break free. Really? You mean there's another <laughs> world out there than Alternia? Better than the Empire? Yeah, it's pretty great actually. Well, mostly great. So a lot of work to do, but you were able to make some changes happen with a lot of with your powers of friendship and also your ability to teleport and reconstruct reality to for us to some extent. Like for example, there's a doctors who can help Jamie out. Free doctors. Can you even imagine a version of Earth where the doctors aren't free to everyone? That's unthinkable, you think, while it's starting to point Lee out in a random <laughs> Yeah, that's... that's great. Not only that, but there, there's communism or whatever Forzier's deal is. Hmm. Well, fuck this! I'm on board! What do we need to do? Yeah, this seems... good, actually. You're noticing that Forzier is much less quick to agree to randomly hop on to the attorney in dimension. Well, I'm going to pack. Damien dashes out of the cafeteria without a second glance. The signs are subtle, but he seems pretty eager to get the heck out of here. I should probably do that too. Chain walks off a little more slowly, their shoulders slumped. You feel like they might still be feeling some guilt over what just happened with Damien. Finally, just for you and Fozier left. I need to finish something up. With the bodies, I mean. Wait, what? He's not gonna get ready? You know, it'll be a little bit before you can get them, but when it's time, they're not gonna have much time to pack. Actually, depending on how your powers end up working, they might perceive it as it happening mere moments after you leave here. Or maybe before you even get a chance to finish your sentence. You might be picking them up in this very moment. You aren't making any sense. Not the first time you heard that. But really, you need to go back. No, I really need to finish up with the bodies. Last rites are important. Mostly to account for the potential ghosts. That is honestly very fair. <laughs> Frozier turns around and walks off suddenly, ignoring you please that he stop and actually listen to what you have to say. This isn't ideal, you know that you could always just leave him behind when you got the other two, but something inside you just doesn't like that outcome. You need to talk to Frozier, and when you get the chance, you might want to talk to see how Damien's doing as well. He was the only one of the three you didn't get to talk to before, so you're not really sure what he lands in terms of the whole relocating to the new world thing for, for everything. Mm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go talk to Damien first. When you think about it, all the corridors in the ship look basically the same. It's like someone took the same two photos and copy pasted the, the whole bunch of times over. You thought massive orbital clone your ships would be more right very than inside, I guess. Whatever. <coughs> you remember well enough how to get to Damien's room. When you get there, Damien's sitting there by the edge of his repercoon holding something in his hands. As soon as he sees you walk in, he stands up and shoves the photo back into his front pocket. Hey, sorry. I was gonna go out and help with the last of the processing. We can talk a minute, if you want, I guess. How's he feeling about leaving Eternia forever? Like, you can't emphasize enough that this probably isn't a two-way thing. You're not completely sure on the mechanics yet, but the sense you've been getting is that once they're on Earth, they're gonna be staying on Earth. What's here for me? A shitty job and unnaturally short lifespan? A few friends I can never really get that close to? I'll take my chances with whatever your world's got going on, thanks. You good? You're in fact not good and good. Is he gonna be okay? What do you mean, okay? 
Well, between the whole degenerative illness thing and the sudden shift in his life direction, you're just trying to get the general vibe check on him. Yes, I'm good as I can be, all things considered. I'm getting out of here. And that's something I never thought I'd be able to say. Rust bloods tend to not have a super long life expectancy. You think that's all down to biology? Uh, maybe? Damien laughs. Yeah, right. Short life expectancy. That's an occupational hazard, my weird little friend. Oh, he got his friend. It's just a figure of speech here. Can you please not make this weird? Too late. Ugh. You good? You're in fact good. You're in fact not good. How does he feel about Sharon? I don't know. They're fine, I guess. Well, he seems pretty annoyed before about the whole medicine thing. Damien shrugs and his face drops. Yeah, well, they can't help how they were born, right? Or how the Empire sees us rustbloods. Crew expendable, right? Exactly. But things will be different now, right? You can, have, you can only hope. You admit the facilities for Atonians on Earth aren't the most developed, but you get the, at least one friend who has the potential for medical training, you think? You know an Alternian medicaler? Uh, no, that's not something somewhat horrible sounding thing. Just like you, do you feel like your friend Kanya might have potential to be a decent doctor? Not based on anything specific, just uh, feeling you got vibes. Okay, sure. It's better than where I'm at now. That's plenty for me. But you don't have to worry about me and Charon or whatever. They're fine. You good? You? Yeah, you think you are, actually. Wait, why does he look so relieved now? Nothing. No reason. Look, I've still got to go help out with those last few bodies. Wouldn't be right to just leave them for someone else. Well, then you tag along and help. You're so good at tagging along and helping. I think you're, like, demonstrably not. But I guess I can't actually stop you. Physically, I mean. Or psychologically. Ugh, <sighs> fine, sure, whatever, let's go! You're already, already mentally preparing yourself for... <coughs> yourself as you make your way to the body processing. First, you definitely doesn't seem to want to leave. You're not sure you're supposed to say to change mind. It's frustrating. The longer you're here, the more it seems like you're losing your grip on what you're supposed to be doing. You're pretty sure that getting people away from Eternia is the right call, but actually doing that is harder than expected. It doesn't matter. The time for thinking is over. The time... F now is the time for... You don't even know. You don't know what, exactly? Well, you're just thinking out loud, I guess. Well, I have work to do here. If you want to help, I cannot physically stop you. Sorry, I'm late. Damien walks over to the counter on the side and pulls on a fresh pair of gloves. What have we got left? More of the usual fare. So is there any chance you could talk a little bit before you get started? Foji shakes his head. We cannot spare the time, sadly. Save before this one. Oh, got over the wrong one. Whatever. Not a big deal. Sooner we get this done. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Interesting. So, last time I believe. Yeah, because I remember several organs. I don't remember who. Uh, sound of blood rushing to my ears. The rest of the spirits bumps it. Don't know the reaction. So I'm gonna see here. There's a lighter. I'm going to. Since I think this is a spirit, so move your hand down to the button. Your hand suddenly grabs you. Well, crap. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Can't ever see you again. You don't. Well, I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Clax. Let's see here. Listening to maybe some gargling. Didn't know your reaction. Faint bruising on the throat. Signs of strangulation. I think that this is... Let's see here. I actually think this might be... 
The operating table was seized around the body and a quick hiss that drops away into the boy's face. As it goes, he could have sworn the body sang to get up and move. Well, no one's yelling at you, so you probably did the right thing. Another one done. Well, that's another one done. Easy, easy. Let me get ready for the next one. So, Farsi, about the whole leaving attorney thing for everything. I said before that this isn't something I wanted to consider. My stance on the matter hasn't changed. Okay, you know if you some big... Materialism. Whatever, you know he's big on the whole thing, like... He's... He's big on the whole... On the work he's been doing, like, mind-wise, but what if he just stops? Okay, wait, that didn't come out right. Alright, let's get this thing done! I'm tired! Clock's ticking. Let's see here... So it's a brown bug, so you don't have to worry about ejection. Um, diseased tissue, so we probably don't have to worry about a spirit. Okay, so portable battery. Um, and I'll take up a knife just in case. And my body's quickly moved at the incinerator where it's consumed with a quick wish of flame. Let me log that one real quick. He's serious, does it doesn't want to reconsider? Why? Why, after spending so much time and mental energy to regain my principles, would I abandon that for the ephemeral promise of a distant paradise? What? You aren't being especially convincing. Okay, well, he has stopped considering the journey it sucks. I am aware. Alright, that one's logged. Next! Begin processing. Any... So, no marks. Check for listening, blood rushing, but it doesn't matter too much. Let's see if da, da, da. Let's see bone hacky thingy. Struggle. It looks like they struggled. Um, let's see portable battery lighter. And so we can, I guess. I think this might be the spirit, so. <laughs> Monster Mash. Try again. Great, I didn't actually save it, so. Da -da 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 -da. It's really in blood. Listen carefully. Uh, okay, so since that's that's a spirit. Another well, that's another one. Let me get ready for the next one. Let's begin. Can we okay, so this is a teal mark. So, not Jade, which we have to worry about. Don't feel anything unusual. Just keep listen. Da -da -da. And just double check just to make sure there's nothing weird with the body. This, um. Another one. Let me log that one. Da, da, da. I'm gonna save quickly. Just in case. Sooner we get the. No marks on the body. <coughs> it's an indigo blood, so we don't have to worry about ejection. Signs of disease. I'm gonna check just to see if the. Gonna burn. Finally. Ooh. Why is he bothering with this if he wants to leave with you? You got those powers of yours back already? Uh, no, okay, good point. Tell me something. Do all the people from your Earth display such worker solidarity as you? Pardon? Well, you continue to stick by us in spite of there being no particular reason or benefit to you doing so. Yeah, what else are you supposed to do? Just let your friends suffer? You are inspiring, in a strange way. But you didn't answer my question. Well, Earth is... 
It's got a lot of issues still. We tried to make some changes back when you still have powers, but it was a lot more complicated than you expected. Now, now it'll probably be even harder. Hmm. A challenge, then. Is there a system of communalism in place already? No, not exactly. You're working on it, okay? Interesting. You feel like you can see a glint of something behind Foju's eyes. A spark of what looks like recognition? Hope? Okay, last body. Let's get this shit show over with. Begin processing. Any time today. Okay, shade blood. Just... Just color. Um... Da -da 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 -da. Spirits. And listen for a heart. Mm. I'm gonna eject. That brings you to done body with a quick kiss. Yeah. God, I wish that were me. Quick question, what the heck was that? A rainbow drinker. A foul undead being birthed from an infection common to the Jade Blood Caverns. Hey, one of your best friends is a rainbow drinker. Sure. Doesn't matter. We're fucking done here. I was nearly distracted by the heat of the moment, but I have a final question for you. This world of yours. Would I have the opportunity to share my hard-earned learnings with the other aliens of your planet? Sure. Honestly, you could really use all the help you could get. You might have inserted yourself into a few political situations that you're not entirely sure how to get out of. I see. Alright, shop's closed for the day. You two can finish this conversation later. Very well. You're noticing that Foji's gotten a lot quieter now, and you're not try sure that what that's about exactly. So we need to keep trying to convince him to leave with you. Yeah, having a sensitive conversation in a wide open public space with a bunch of other trolls around. Good plan! Foji brows his head and quietly turns to face you. You think he's about to say something, but he just turns and walks out without a word. I'm just fucking with you anyway. No one down here gives a shit if we leave. I'll see you in a minute. Well, this is probably your last time to confirm Froja to come along with you and the others. That won't be necessary. Yeah. You tell you to see Froja standing almost directly behind you. How in the heck did he sneak up on you like that? How does he mean by won't be necessary? Come with me. We should have a word in private before you join the others. Froja closes the door behind you and walks over to their desk, shifting through the books until he finally picks up a small pamphlet. This was something that I found particularly profound. It was exceptionally hard to find a copy of. Oh, is it like Troll Chachowski or Troll Chairman Mao or something like that? No, a violet blood named Kredia Jivek. Wait, you've seen that name before. You saw her mentioned on Chizia's Twitter feed. Indeed. One infers they had become close. But did you know that Kredia was a remarkably outspoken critic of the Hemo Spectrum? In fact, she made a strong and consistent case for dismantling it. In this pamphlet, she pleads with the heiress to stand up to the Empress on the issue. That doesn't sound like it'd be a very popular position. No. In fact, doing what is right is often unpopular, and seldom easy. He... he's not gonna be coming with you back to Earth, is he? Foja shakes his head. I cannot in good conscience ignore the plight of my fellow Alternians. Not that I begrudge Charon and Demon their own path, but it will not be one that I choose to tread. Well, that kind of sucks. You're really hoping to convince all of them to come with you. Sadly, I will have to be the holdout here. I will discuss it with the others while you attend to whatever it is you still have to do here on our world. Everyone is gathered around the cafeteria once more. This time, no one's eating, but they're just kind of hanging out. You're not sure what is to say to the next because there's logical, logistical stuff they involved in here, but also you got bigger questions here. Not sure how to bring up those up. Fortunately, Cherim interrupts your hel helpfully timed question to get the forward momentum going on your increasingly tenuous grip on exactly what the heck we're doing. So, <laughs> how does this work exactly? Well, about that, you made a lot of promises to people about burying the way to the wonderful new world, except for. Furzy, who's going to be holding down the fort up here, but so far you had some technical issues with your former abilities. Right. So what are you going to do? 
The thing is, you got this weird sense that you almost got the solution, you got the plan worked out, it's right on the tip of your brain. It just, well, got a weird request, you know, that this is probably a ship has purple blots on it, right? A lot of them probably. We don't know. But yes, that is a reasonable assumption to make. The Empire keeps them close at hand. Feels like there's something to unpack there, but going on the later list for now. In any case, you kind of need to maybe figure out how to get to where those purple bloods are. That's a stupid idea. You'll end up right back down here. Well, no, you don't think you'll need to- oh wait, you see what they're saying funny. They're right! You're gonna fucking die! Not a chance, you're friends with the one and only Marvis Zoltolo. Seriously?! You're friends with Grandmaster Zolato? You'd do well to remember lessons that famous rustbud political thinker Karl Marx taught us about class solidarity. Namely, that you need to have it in the first place. No, no, it's fine. Marvis is cool. Plus, you promised a jerry blood that you find her adopted purple blood daughter. The look on their faces lets you know that way that <coughs> your three friends comprehended about a quarter of what you just said, but it's not important. The important part is you need to get to where the purple bloods are. It is possible, if you're insisting on throwing your life away like this. Well, shit. Guess we're not leaving after all. Nice idea while it lasted. No, you're definitely going to be able to pull this off. Sure. I'll believe it when I see evidence. Damien walks over to the corner of the cafeteria and sits down by himself, leaning his head on his hands and genuinely looking disappointed. You need to feel like you're letting a friend down, but this is definitely only a temporary situation. If you insist, I can show you the way. You do, in fact, insist. You get a champ who only pulls a sour expression in return. You're not sure that they expect you to return from this alive. What gave you that idea? Was it the part where I alluded to your death? Okay, Mr. Mick, okay, Mick Sour Pants, is you don't have the time for all this negativity. Lead away, Frozier. Frozier leads down a series of corridors and, unsurprisingly, all look kind of similar. Except finally you take a turn and reach a door that you don't remember seeing before. It's labeled with the various caution signs. <coughs> as soon as you reach the door, Frozier stops and glares at you. Before you do this, I insist that you acknowledge what it is that you're about to do. The Purple Bloods have their own culture. You're already an outsider in our world. This will just make you doubly so. Angela, you may been able to hang with purple bloods before. Of course, two of them were isolated and maladjusted children, and one of them was barely out of being a wiggler, so maybe not the most experienced with adult purple culture, no. I suspected as much. I won't pretend to understand your ultimate goals, nor dissuade you from them. I'm glad you won't do that. I simply want you to be careful. Rosie reaches out and presses a series of buttons on the keypad by the door. Wait, how does he know the code? The spirits sometimes see interesting things. It's amazing what they will tell to ears that are willing to listen. This is a maintenance hatch. It will lead you to the place where the purple bloods live. Beyond that, I cannot help you. There is a strange force that prevents the spirits from going there. That feels like relevant information somehow. You have to circle back on that if you ever get the chance. My comrade, I can only wish you luck from here on out. I want to thank you for giving me a chance to reconsider my station in life. You make for a fine communalist. I wish you could join me, buddy. I wish you could join me. With a soft smile and away, Fosier turns and walks off. And now you're alone in the front of the maintenance hatch that leads further into the bowls of the ship. It's dark in there. When he has a little bit of fear stopped, you turn and step into the doorway. A few steps in and it's already nearly pitch black. You find a ladder in the front and you begin to climb up into the darkness, every step sounding hollow in the pitch dark around you. You're not sure how much time passes in the darkness, the re repetition of climbing, wrong after wrong fades into the background noise after ten minutes and then it's just you and the void for a while. You can hear the noise of the ship around you, the sounds of the engines in the distance, the sounds of the various life support systems, and underneath all that, something else. Something that's been getting more and more noticeable as you climb higher and higher. A low kind of hum that you can feel more than hear. It grows harder and harder to ignore with each rung of the ladder. And finally you feel that outline of the hatch in front of you. Feel for the handle groping in the darkness until finally you have it. Fortunately it's not locked. The lock disengages smoothly and you can feel the hatch above you, swinging freely on its hinges. One solid push and you'll be there, in the home of the purple bloods and orphans. 
slowly you push your shoulder up against the hatch and you push. Holy crap. TGF. One cast of trolls. Catching in the PTO for life. Save my progress. Mark says, journey will continue out hell for Dark Lotus Eaters. But, obviously, that chapter has yet to come out. And I still have not get the, get the, um, thing. Where I'm guessing you have to do it perfectly without their assistance. Oh god, it's gonna be, that is so difficult to do. But, with that, I hope you guys have a good day, night, week, month of your lives. And may the stars forever guide your path, forever might lead you into the future. Bye-bye, everybody.